Hey there Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot, so weather and traffic for the week starting April 1st, 2024. And on the first, we've got Mercury turning retrograde in Aries, which is going to be opening up a three and a half week window period of influence from the first to the 25th, where a lot of revisions, reversals, redirects, reconnects, and retrievals are taking place in your home family situations, your home economy, and even living circumstances. Now, there can, of course, be the typical Mercury retrograde inconveniences and issues that can come up from this. But revisions, reversals, and redirects could also be fixing things that have maybe been off in a home or family arrangement for some time. And a lot of you could be reversing some problems that had their start before Mercury retrograde even began. This can also be a time of reversing a lot of hurts or maybe even, um, you know, burdens incurred over many years and giving you a chance to kind of clean a lot of slates as it relates to home, home economy, or your living situation as well. Family members too. On the 6th, we've got Venus in Aries sextile to Pluto in Aquarius. And this is a time of sealing deals. And a lot of you are going to find that when we have these two come together, there is likely going to be some kind of match made in heaven or some kind of proposition that comes up on or around this day that is not only making life more comfortable for you at home as it relates to your home economy and your living situation, but also could be putting more money back in your pocket and back in your bank account. Whether this is something that is increasing your earning power or changing the way certain expenses or arrangements are set up, keep an open mind with what comes up around the 6th. All right, Capricorn, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And uh, we're going back to the five card spread that I used to do, for those of you who remember. I just don't like the idea of information overload being the reason maybe certain forecasts are not remembered when things come up. So uh, we're going to go back to that. But don't worry, you are still going to get a solid predictive reading. So let's charge up the cards and see what that is. One sec. Okay. Spiritual themes, what the week's all about, money and material concerns, and even living situation in a practical sense, job, all that good stuff, communications, friends, family, contacts, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. Okay, so this week, it's all about the Justice card reversed. It's all about the elimination of entanglements, commitments, contracts, pacts, and agreements that are no good. In fact, the Justice card reversed can indicate that a lot of things this week are probably going to make your life look completely foreign to what you've become familiar with, to what you've become accustomed to, whether you like it or not. And this can be a good thing especially if maybe what we're attached to that is familiar is actually what's holding us back. But you're also going to find that this could be a week where some discoveries of unfair, unbalanced, or uh, broken systems, broken agreements, or things that are bad for you and all parties involved are also going to get revealed. Your best course of action when these things come up, let them end. 
for your work life, money, and even practical affairs for your living situation, you've got the chariot upright. You're on top of the world here with the chariot. This is all about victory, overcoming obstacles, busting through walls and hurdles, and being able to celebrate some kind of achievement. You're riding high. This is a card where there could be some kind of win secured for you. You might even be getting kind of the MVP treatment at the office or among your peers. Financially, things are starting to speed up in terms of their accrual of wealth, which is really, really nice. And a lot of you who have been maybe to, looking to get on some kind of move, whether it's a professional move, a family move, or maybe just a project, it's going to be hitting the ground running. For your contacts, community, friends, uh, you've got the Six of Cups upright. And it looks like there is something getting started over. Um, possibly a reconnect or a revisit, a reunion, something very pleasant going on here. With the Six of Cups, we see an opportunity for the past to return in a way where we are getting back in touch with something that maybe we left behind, something that's very restorative, something that is very loving. Now, this could be a reunion with an old friend or an old contact, maybe even building a new bridge with somebody. You know, bridges don't always fall down because they get burned. Sometimes they fall down just because they don't get a lot of maintenance. They don't have a lot of treatment. Things fall apart, you know, because of, we can't give enough time to things the way we thought. Well, with the Six of Cups, there are some very important reconnects and returns coming your way. Maybe even the return of resources or the return of assets or the return of things that could be very useful to you in the now. For your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Pentacles upright. You don't really have any challenges this week. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is all about security, long-term peace, structure, happiness, contentment, but also things that are going to carry us into the future. Now, if there is a challenge that can come with this, it is about making sure that we are thinking about the greater good with a lot of things that are going on. And sometimes the greater good has nothing to do with our you know, what we want in the moment or what is familiar to us. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can indicate a need to be ready to wrap up certain stories or wrap up certain attachments or maybe even give ourselves permission to release something that is going to make room for something bigger. You're going to be cashing in on a lot of good fortune this week, and so maybe your biggest challenge is, is to let change happen so you can. For your relationships and love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And the Seven of Pentacles reversed is all about scrapping things, dropping things, letting things go, purging them. And with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, this can indicate um, you and a partner deciding to drop something that has maybe been causing problems between the two of you. You know, this could be uh, maybe an activity, some other kind of to-do. A lot of the times this card can show up where maybe something that's been stuck in our craw, something we always argue about, or something that's maybe made us a bit bitter towards each other is coming up for release, which is good to see go. And a lot of you are also going to see a lot of purges of burdens that have been maybe keeping the relationship or the family trapped somewhere in some way. Now, for those of you who are single or available to new people, the Seven of Pentacles reversed is indicating you might be meeting somebody who is coming through this period, um, you know, in their own lives when you meet them. They're starting on a new clean slate. They maybe just have transitioned something. Maybe they're new in town. Maybe they've just gotten a new job. Or, yes, it's possible they could be closing up business from an old relationship. They won't necessarily be ready to get super serious right away, not that you would in the very beginnings, but there's room for you. So that is what I've got for your, uh, your week, Capricorn. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.